morning, Washington. This is Big Dave on Dave TV at DCRTV.com for the 16th of December, 2011. I uh, got an early Christmas present from a friend here. The Colossus of New York. Didn't even know this thing was out on DVD. A really cool science fiction movie from 1958. And there you go there. It's uh, really cool. I mean, there are very few movies I find scary. You know, this one is. This one is just creepy. It's about some scientist, um, Ross Martin, I believe his name is, the actor. Yeah. And uh, he gets run over by a taxi or something, and, and they put his brain into this creepy-looking robot thingy. And he, uh, how it all works out and how the guy turns into kind of almost a Frankensteinish kind of monsterish thing. Really good movie. Uh, and the, the music in it is just kind of heavy piano music, and it is really creepy. I just, I didn't even know this thing was out on DVD. It's one of those movies that's, you know, I've always wanted to get a copy of it for my massive DVD collection, and I'd like to thank one of my friends who sent this to me for Christmas. Thank you. Or for whatever, Hanukkah, uh, Kwanzaa, whatever. So a cool movie there. All right, folks, if you're going to be watching TV tonight, don't forget to tune in to Channel 5 between 4 and 8. There are news and uh, the TMZ and all that stuff. You can get the answers to your dental implants. <laughs> You know, it's like you watch the t you watch the news, and then they'll cut away to these commercials with these people sitting in a phone bank answering your questions. And there, Channel Four did this a couple weeks ago. I don't know; it, it just comes off really tacky. I don't. They ought to do it right on the newscast. They should have uh, <laughs> their newscasters here, you know, sitting there talking about dental implants. It's just one step away from that, huh? Okay, so uh, we got the gamut radio here on the, the background. Really cool. Reminds me a lot of the old Freeform WHFS Gamut Radio. If you got an HD radio, 102.3 is HD3. Really cool stuff. Uh, they should buy an ad on DCR TV and market themselves, right? Okay, here's my brainstorm for today. I've got a brainstorm. I've had this kind of before, but, you know, we've recently reported that 106.7 WJFK Sports Tucker moved from Fairfax to Lamb, okay? Which basically leaves Northern Virginia without a major radio station. I mean, you know, okay, you got you got you know WETA and stuff in Arlington, and you got some smallish stations like WDCT Korea in there and Falls Church or whatever and stuff, but there really isn't a major radio station in Fairfax County, okay? Or Loudoun County, or even Prince William County. When you put those three counties together, Fairfax County has over a million people. Loudoun has close to half a million. So does Prince William. You've got two, maybe three million people if you look at the whole area of Fairfax, Loudoun, Prince William, Stafford, you know, Fauquier, all those counties, all the way down to Fredericksburg. There's like three million people in that area, okay? And there really isn't a single major radio station serving them, okay? I mean, you ain't got the Washington stations, but there isn't a station that's targeting Northern Virginia, and I've always said somebody should come along and start Northern Virginia Radio, okay? And the most likely place is 92.5. Okay, this is the current home of Wink FM and a hot adult contemporary station out of Winchester owned by Centennial, okay? Their transmitter is in Fauquier County on a mountain just north of Warrington. So they, and they have a good, clear 50,000-watt signal. So, you know, they cover Fairfax, Loudoun, Prince William, they go all the way down to Fredericksburg, they go all the way out to Winchester, and, you know, it's, it's a really, really, really good signal. And I always thought somebody ought to, you know, why don't they just, why don't they just move into that old WJFK studio there on 10800 Main Street, put WINC, or, or change it to something like WNVR or something, Northern Virginia Radio, and, and do something like that, okay? Now... They could move Wink. You know, Wink's a popular station. It gets great ratings in, in the Warren, in the uh, Winchester area. And, you know, they should move it over to the 104.9.105.5 signals that, that Centennial has out there, okay? Put Wink on there. Keep Wink going. But, you know, keep Wink as a primarily Winchester area station by taking 92.5 and making it a Northern Virginia talker. That's, that's 
you know, not only geared to Winchester, but to, to Leesburg and Falls Church and Fairfax and Reston and Springfield and Woodbridge and Manassas and, you know, the, the growing areas of Eastern Loudoun, the Dulles area, and, and really gear the station to them and with a format change to Guy Talk. Okay, what WJFK used to be doing before they flipped to Sports Talk in 2009? They really should go to, you know, a talk, a talk, you know, kind of a guy talkish format with a bunch of fun talk, maybe bordering on sports talk. They should hire Mike O'Mara to do the morning show. And, you know, and you literally raid Mike O'Mara's podcast. You know, get Rob Spiewak and, Bru and Buzz Burbank and Oscar Santana and some of the former WJFKers, you know, that aren't there anymore. And, and maybe even try to get Chad Dukes over. I don't know. And really do a cool guy talk format that's geared to Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia traffic, Northern Virginia weather, Northern Virginia news, Northern Virginia issues, and really hit the Northern Virginia market. You've got three million, two to three million people that don't have a local radio station anymore other than a DC station. You know, really niche target your market for them. This is Northern Virginia's talk and news station. And at least have live morning and afternoon drive shows that are done from the Fairfax studio there. I don't know, man. I, you know, I, I can't imagine, you know, WINC makes, you know, all that much money. I mean, they're geared to Winchester, which is a relatively small place. If you're going to suddenly start serving and actively promoting yourself in all of Northern Virginia, that opens up a huge market. You know, if Northern Virginia was just a, its own market, you made Washington vanish. You just had Northern Virginia. That's like a three million person market. I mean, it would be in the top 20 somewhere. <laughs> it would be bigger than Richmond or even Norfolk as a market. And yet Northern Virginia itself doesn't have its own little media base. You know, we're, we're part of Washington. It's like North Jersey. You know, it's part of Long Island. It's part of the New York media market. But if somebody were to hyper serve that one little zone there, I really think you could do something, you know, and I, I could, you know, just now if you have WI, if you had 92.5 out of Winchester, hyper serving Northern Virginia, imagine that, that huge ad market you would have for Northern Virginia, as opposed to little Winchester. I don't know, man. So, it's another idea that just sitting there, a pile of money waiting for someone to go after it, you know, I don't know. You know, JFK abdicating it. They were kind of the default Northern Virginia major radio station for all these years. They're gone now. You know, they're over in Lanham. Uh, somebody else should come in, move into that, you know, I don't know if they could get the studio there. There's a studio facility right there at 10800 Main Street. You flip the microwave dish over from Lanham over to Winchester and boom, put it up on 92.5. I think you have a big winner there. Even if you don't get the top of the ratings, the advertising billing for Wink or for whatever station follows it on 92.5, would have to be three or four times what that station's making. Come on, somebody, think. <laughs> you know, I like Wink. I do listen to it occasionally at 92.5. And I'm saying keep it on those two, you know, 104.9, 105.5 frequencies. And, you know, so it still serves Winchester. It is a strong station with a following. You keep that going. And I think, I think it's a centennial if they would just... There's money there. There's a pot of money. It's like it's like that big pot of money that was sitting there from WTOP's pile of ad revenue. Finally, CBS is going to take a stab at it. Finally, somebody. <laughs> Whoa, baby. All right, so that's my brainstorm. If it happens, somebody at least send me a uh, send me a little bit of money, man. Send me a consultant's fee. Rigo's leaving Mass, and yeah, did anybody watch his show? Ten people watched Reagan's, John Regan's show on Mass, and okay, those ten people are sad. Yeah. I don't know, you know. Okay, so what? Uh, and a woman, a woman parachuted from WETA's tower, 90.9, .9, classical 90.9 .9 up there in uh, North Arlington on Wednesday night. <laughs> she, uh, one of those base jumper people, they jump off of antennas and buildings and stuff, and they have a parachute, and she ended up landing in a tree. And she had to cut her parachute loose and fall out of the tree and hit the ground and had to be taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The police have charged five people, three men, two women, for trespassing and climbing the tower. And I've also been told by a number of techie people, that's not a good thing to do. You could get a nice, nasty shock from coming, come climbing up a radio tower, you know, if you don't know what you're doing. So there. So anyhow, that's the big news there. All right, folks. 
That's Dave TV for today. Uh, another one of my good ideas. Think about it, somebody. Wow, what crazy music. Huh? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Good idea. Great idea. Lots of good ideas up here. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. Uh, so, what about, where, where, uh, oh, so, <laughs> so.